Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 36 and in this video we're going to start changing some styles. <laughs> okay then, so in the last video I showed you guys how to dive into this HTML, grab an element, then read or set the attribute values using two methods. That was get attribute and set attribute. Now we can do the same thing with the style attribute. So I'm going to do that first, okay? Then we're going to look at the style property. So let's first of all grab an element to play around with. And I'm going to choose this H2 right here. It's got an ID of page title. So we'll store this in a variable. We'll call it title equals document dot get element by ID. And then we'll pass in the ID page hyphen title. And that is going to store this element right here in this variable. So now we can call those methods on it. So we'll say title dot set attribute. And currently you'll notice it's got no style attribute associated with it, but that's okay because we can use this method right here to give it a style attribute. So we'll say that we want a style attribute given it to it. Okay. And then the value of that style attribute is going to be position relative. All right, cool. Let's press enter and you'll see now it's updated over here in the HTML and it's given it that style attribute with a value of position relative. Cool. Now let's add another, we'll say title.set attribute and we'll say we want to update the style attribute and this time we want to pass in a left of 10 pixels, right? We want to add that rule to it now. Press enter. Ah, now you've noticed that it's overridden this rule. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to add it to it, all right? But what it's done is say, okay, well, whatever you've put in here, I'm going to replace all of what's currently there with that. Okay, so if we wanted to update this here so that it's got both rules in, we'd have to do something like this. We'd have to say that and then left 10 pixels as well. So they're both within this value parameter right here. Press enter and there we go, it's updated it. Now, as you can imagine, this is going to get tiresome if you need to add styles on the fly. And technically, you could do it by substituting a variable in here to grab the current style content and then appending to it. But again, not the best way of doing it. I prefer to use the style property and that is something like this. We'd say title dot style and then dot and then we'd say whichever uh, property name, CSS property name that we want to update. Now I want to update the left property right here. Okay, so currently it's 10 pixels, but I'm going to say equals now, and then within quotes, I'm going to say 20 pixels. So we'll change from 10 to 20, and I'll press enter. And that there, my friends, has updated this property right there, but it's left this property intact, which is cool. All right, so I don't have to worry about what's currently there. I just update the styles that I want. So we can do this again. I'll say title.style.top, and then give that a value of 10 pixels and press enter and cool that's worked as well let's do another title dot color set that oops title dot style dot color beg your pardon and set that equal to red awesome that's updated there as well now what if we do something with two words we'll say title dot style dot and then we'll say background color background hyphen color this is how we'd write it in css right and we'll change that to blue. But in JavaScript, we get an error. And that's because of this hyphen right here. When we update properties this way, we don't use a hyphen. We use camel case. So this, in fact, would be, let's copy that, paste it down here. This would be instead background color with a capital C. And then we set it equal to blue. Press enter. And now it updates. All right then guys, so that is how to update styles in JavaScript. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise guys, if you enjoyed these videos, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.